of the management and staff dibitaw in behalf kang lord in behalf sa mong tanan diri in behalf sa whole dipolo we are so honored and feel grateful nga maka celebrate my birthday with you bishop you are amazing person hallelujah you are a gift from god you are just one awesome guy happy birthday Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Maglingkot na mga isa. So, wala mong kalipay nga nakaabot mi din he. Uh, not just to attend this big events, but also to celebrate birthday ni uh, kay Bobo mo nga na ako ay kuya din he. <laughs> So, uh, sa, sa among kinabuhi dito sa Canada, uh, sometimes ma-feel ma ma na mo ang kamingaw. And then, because we are connected, not knowingly, si Kuya mag-message, how are you? And then, I have to grab that opportunity because during that time, most of the time, during that time, we need to send a message. We are in the lowest moment. And, and, and then he is our mentor. Since we were young, since we were young, he is our mentor. So, ang amo ang hisgutan about family about panginabuhi, then word of God, then prayer. So, and then, after that, there's an empowerment nga mupustro kita sa ato ang pagpangalagad sa gino. Amen? So, ning kabuntagod, my son, among i, wala may lang is here, but the word of God. <laughs> we don't have the word that can encourage our spirit, but what we can share is the word of God that this is what we need. Sa matagosan nato, no? So, uh, <laughs> this is my first time to have this uh, LED screen. So, do you mind if I make a selfie of myself? <laughs> <laughs> And this one too. Woohoo. The wish is your command. <laughs> so, my son, kay baluta nga si Jesus niya sa ato ang meds. Amen? Pero kay balut, kay balut ba mo nga nung niya si Jesus? Isa may na kay balut nga nung niya si Jesus. Tungod kay naa ka. <laughs> Kung wala pa ta din karon mga ison, wala support si Jesus. Ingon siya, two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. So, ingon sa ato ang nanay na magsayo kay maunahan tas tulo. <laughs> Pag-abot sa tulo din eh, nanay si Jesus. <laughs> so, kung, kung magdungan ta, asamot. Samot. Ang ang atong gesture sa diha nga magdaig tas Ginoo, mag-isa tas kamot, amen. Sa gawas kung mag-isa tas kamot, it is a sign of defeat. But here, when we raise our hands to worship, this is the signs of power. This is the signs of blessings. Amen. Because we are worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. So, uh, th this celebration 
the theme is anointed to multiply and sometimes we can look back if we go in who will finance my needs no but the encouragement is when there is vision there is provision and ang ato ang pagtuo because God said we must serve him by faith so kung atong sugdan may son ang net worth <laughs> kinsa may gusto makibaw kung sa net worth ni God ang pinakadato sa kalibutan ilan ang i-display ilang net worth the the richest man in the world they have a net worth of 100 or 200 billion or trillion dollars but if we start counting the net worth of our God Let's say start with us. Try to cut your arms if how much it's worth. Cut your arms. Musugot ba ta nga muka atong putlo na atong kamot ya bayran ta? Nobody. Bisan unsa na to ka pobre? Bisan unsa na to ka kawala don? Bisan unsa na to ka panginahanglan? But when someone will ask, I will cut your arms and I will give you 1 million. Musugot ba tama ison? No. You know why? Because God created us. God created us and we are priceless. We are unique. We are created in His own image. We are not a mass production, but we are created by God unique. Walay tao mga ison nga pareha o thumb mark. Every one of us how many billions of people in the world and we have different thumb mark and that is how powerful our God and the second net worth if you can talk about about he is the maker of real estate <laughs> real estate property heaven and earth and God said, Nganong mo ingong ko nga siya, siya ang mo finance kung naatay buluhaton, kung doon natay mga paginahanglan. Because He said, I will supply all your needs according to His riches and glory. And we all know, kay baw kita, anak mga ikson, kay baw kita, unsa na katinood kami sa akong family, Back 20 years, some, sometime 20 years ago, uh, na transfer me from in his atong uh, nasod sa Philippines, transferred to Canada for work. And then, wala gid me nakagasto bisan 10 pesos <laughs> or 1 peso. Ano man, uh, get transfer me financed by an institution touched by God. Amen? We have nothing. Ang akong pangandoy mga isaon nga na ako itrabaho, makaabang mi sa among balay nga gipuyan, unya makapakaon sa family, unya na savings gamay. No, dili gina na ito, kalimta ng ato ang savings. Kaya nga atong savings, ingon ang pulong sa gino, nga it is foolish of a person to devour everything. So, ato get bisan bisan unsa ta kalisod. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Kung ato ang wa ang nagamay para to sa tong savings, bisan na ay maka-income ta og 10 pesos. Get that 1 peso for your savings. If magkadugay magkadugay mga ikson, mo accumulate na siya. So, but that is not our topic. Okay. So, let's get to the Word of God. I am thankful for my family. I have uh, my beautiful wife here with us and my beautiful cousins. <laughs> we have, we have, dua ka mga anak, usaka among kamagulangan lalaki, niya among kamanghuran babae. 
niya maingon sila kasagaran so makita nang eskwela po kumusta man sila asam sila nang eskwela pa yung nahuman na nanarbaho na ana ami apo po ana po ni apo so um before ko mag-share my son uh, it is my uh, request it is my uh, style everyone has on their own style I have my own style that I'm going to ask my uh, half my half of me to say something encouragement and thank you for uh, this crowd. Ngano kay babo ngano nag selfie ko kay for the past few event few events or or kanang every Sunday here. Gabi is amo adito maibog ko nga magtan. So at last, Karon, uh, uh, physically here, and I am so pumped up. Woo. Thank you, Lord. So, <laughs> nice God. Apoy din nato palakpakan, my son. Salamat kay sa ginong. We are live here. Sige lang, may dito og live virtually. And then, kung dili may ka watch a live, repeat. So, sa recorded na me. Salamat kayo sa ginunga nakabot ming dapita again. Kani si Ate Mirna o sa, si Kuya Ernie. I think we met them uh, 19, early 90s. Kani silang Pastor Nonoy si si uh, Pastor Moroy, Moni Barkada na mo, mo na nga. Salamat kay sa ginoo nga nagkita na sa me o kaning duha ka kambal, I saw them o oh, duha gina kambal no? Japit and Jasper the first good nga did tujog ko naka kuha na ni nga couple I really, first thing, tagay kong time gamay bing nga, I have to honor these pastors. Pastor Ernie o ni Pastor Mirna. Ate ni namo o kuya. Ani si kuya, worship, young people, worship leader ni siya sa una. Ingon si Bra Pastor Al Gahit sa Cebu. Basta mag-conference na itong mga pastor, kani si Pastor Ernie, i-announce gani nga siya ang pastor leader, uh, worship leader that night or that day ang mga young people maglinya sa atubangan. First, anointing of God. Second, guwapo ko no siya. So, pasalamat sa ginong ang atong leader, worshiper, yun na siya. Yun niya, katunga time na experience na ako, I think maybe 1995-1996, si Pastor Ernie, ang guest speaker dito sa Liluan, sa Cebu, yun niya, mukanta mang yun siya before siya magwali. Karun, kay nawala ng mga worship musicians. Kani si Jasper o si Japit, misakay aning, I think it was Jasper, o oh, Japit, misakay aning drum set. Unya, ag, basa gakuyog ni silang duha. Naanami sa middle or almost in sa song, milingi si kuya o kinsay nagtugtog ang iyang three-year-old nga anak. Nang lakaw ra po sila paghuman, o mga tao puno kay itong simbahan, I think we were like 200, more than 200. But pasalamat ko sa gino kay, dako kay itong impact sa akong anak. My son is a firefighter, and drummer po siya sa church, and worshiper. Ang akong anak, when when she was in the church, karon manggod lahi ang profession niya pag pandemic. Of course, wala siya nag, nag leadership sa church, but I know in the future she will. But na siya sa kids ministry. Sa so, atong mga anak, ato yun ang encourage. But I'm not here to to share about my family, which I already shared. Na bless lang kay ko sa yung topic ba kay. For this few months, I've been thinking, I heard this pastor telling, declaration, 
I will be anointed, then I will be appointed. Yan, yeah, na-bless kayo ko sa itong topic karon nga, anointed to multiply. According to 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, NIV version, But you who have an, you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. Where every morning I encourage you, pangayuon yun nato ang anointing ni God. Muna na bless kay kung nga mauday topic nato karon nga wiga anointing. You know why? When we have the anointing of God, first step nato sa balay, the ordain ni God. A little bit of of testimony. Before coming here, you know the pandemic. Canada was classified in the Philippines yellow. Yellow country. Kanang yellow country, pagabot diri sa Philippines, kumuari sa Philippines, only allowed returning Filipinos and Filipinos, OFWs. Returning Filipinos like citizens sa lang nasod, pero na napay families diri. Yellow means pagabot ni mo sa Manila or asa kang international airport Milan sa, sa Philippines, you have to quarantine five to seven days, a total of 14 days pag uli ninyo sa inyong balay. Pagka January, when Omicron hit, Canada was downgraded to red. You know what is red? 14 days. 14 days ang quarantine. Nagol kay ko. Nya akong kay nagplano naman mi muuli mo visit diri. Pero ang akong anak nga youngest. Nangayo siya nakog explanation unsa nang red, yellow and green. Re- green countries na ana sa listahan din na lang ko mo mention. Walay quarantine. Mo nay green. Then, ingon ko sa kong anak, can we pray nga ang Canada mahimong yellow? In siya ma, what do you mean by red? In ko, red is quarantine. Yellow is, is modified. Gamay lang ang quarantine. Then green is a walay quarantine. Mingon na kong anak, ma, sayun ra kayo na. Nga nung mag-pray man ka may, from red mahimong yellow, Nga na may green. Nakahilak yung ko ato kay ana iyang faith ba? Una, kato, karun po ang atong topic karun nga anointed to multiply. Makainumdum ka tong story bitaw ni Abraham nga gitawag siya sa ginoo niya ihalad niya si Asaak. Natay lesson ato kamo na lay assignment Kamu na lay basa ato kay wala na koy time Genesis Genesis chapter 22 verse 1 to 19 Di ba si Abraham gitawag sa Ginoo So kita ding mga Christians if we believe in God Pero wala ko nagpili wala nagpili si God mingon siya ang tanan gitawag But kita lalo na nga mga Christians Gitawag yun ta sa ginoo. Amen? Igna nga, gitawag ko sa ginoo. Abraham answered God's call. Diba, mingon siya, Abraham. Mingon si God, then me, tubag si, si Abraham. God calls. So, karon na gathering ta karon ang atong leader nag-call for inspiration, for encouragement. Second, diba naghatag instruction si Abraham dito sa Ab, si God dito ni Abraham kung sa'yong buhaton maghala dito unta si Isaac then kung sa mana siya God orders so ang order ni God nato is to go preach the good news instructions ang instructions na atanan sa Bible kung natay devotional kung natay diary kung natay packet book Natay cell phone, please make your Bible the first favorite book in your life. Third, faith. 
Dili na to ni mahimo ni gingo ni pastor anointed to multiply kung wala tay faith. Ang gikinahanglan ni God gamay kay nga faith. So step one step of faith. Then, di ba? Wala man ipatay si Isaac o gihalad kay nag-provide si God ang land. God provides. O itong gingon sa akong bana nga Seek ye first, all things shall be added unto you and all His righteousness. Dili lang tag seek og things but all His righteousness. And mauna ko encouragement ninyo mga kaigsunan nga magpadayon ta sa atong pagpangalagad sa gino, kaning mga threat sa kinabuhi, threat sa family, threat sa atong nasod. But, we are victorious because we have Jesus. Amen? Sa pasalamatan na ito ang gino, and we glorify Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Salamat sa encouragement and she, she is my heart. Dili ko maingon ano ikon kudiri kung wala siya. So, so, kay Bolo mo mo may saon nga we need to constantly refresh the word I love you. No? No? I love your word never dies. So, sa survey, ingon sila, ingon siya nga, kung mo kiss ko naman sa iyong wife every day before doing anything after wake up, when you wake up, ang imong income, 20% more. 20% more kung narabaho mo both wife and husband, when you kiss your wife every morning. Okay. Your income will become 20% more. <laughs> that, that's the survey. And I think it is true. <laughs> it is true. So, Mike Zon, let's get to the Word of God. And I also acknowledge uh, all the viewers, of, all, all of our viewers online uh, from any different parts of the world. Uh, mostly in the Philippines our networks, our church networks, and uh, I think you are watching right now, and thank you for viewing, and uh, uh, my prayer is that this word that we're going to uh, listen and uh, receive become a blessing in our life. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, and I pray that you Use your word, Lord, to touch our hearts. And God, help me to remember the words that you told me to say, that I can survive 30 minutes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Gamay na kayo kung sinultihan mo yung zone. So, wala nga akong pasultihan rin para nga dugang-dugang sa time ba? Okay. So, uh, I'm going to uh, share with you 1 John chapter 1. I'm, I'm not here just to say one verse, but chapter 1, this is the whole chapter. Are you ready? Verse 1. There's only 10 verses, by the way. Uh, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. So, by the way, the word of life, this is Jesus. Amen? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So, that's Jesus. Verse 2. The life was manifested, and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested to us, that which we have seen and heard, we declare to you that you also may have 
fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. And these things we write to you that your joy may be full. This is the message which we have heard from Him and declare to you that God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with Him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Last verse, if we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar and His word is not in us. This whole chapter, it talks about the light and darkness. This is, cannot be mixed. Diligid na pwede nga magkasagol. First time I flown from Philippines to Canada, um, ang, ang, ang time zones that daylight in, in this hemisphere and Canada is night, night time. So, ako ginanggibantayan kay sa, sa, sa airplane na may uh, der, um, GPS, the position where, where you are on that particular time. So, ako nakita dito nga na ay boundaries, light and night. And then, I was wishing na I can see the, the night, uh, the night and day. Pero kay, dili man rin allowed mo ablig bintana <laughs> sa aeroplano. So, wala gin ko kakita. But anyway, uh, Dili na mao ang gipot pasabot sa Word of God, darkness uh, or light and darkness. Dili na both pasabot. The works of darkness will be exposed in the light. Amen? Uh, yesterday, ingon si Kuya, Pastor Ernie, that kung doon ako na tayo mga buhat sa kanang tinago-tago, darkness, tinago-tago, Dili pwede na nato nga dili i-confess. Nga naman, uh, kay kung dili na nato na i-hinolsol, dili na nato na i-sulti sa atong mga iksoon diya sa pagtuo, dili na mawala. Dili na mawala. Ang, nga nung, nga nung daghanta, nga nung daghanta may iksoon, kay gusto sa Diyos nga Dunay pag dinasigay, dunay pag inampuay, dunay pag tinabangay. Uh, na ang gusto sa Dios. That's the will of God. Kung dunatay pag sharing, dunarabay o sahay may ikson mag careful puta kay dunay po ay uh, uh, ano ni mahimong chismis ni noon. Kana po mo mo ingon bito nga. Ni sister or, or brother, magpray ta ni, ni, ni Brad kay kibaw ka, mao ni yang <laughs> na, chis, na chismis, na chismis na inoon, careful ta. So kung doon ay mga alam, ano, alam po unon na nga bahin, ay, ayaw na i-expound, ayaw na pangita og detalye. Just pray, just pray that the Holy Spirit will renew us. Just pray that the Holy Spirit will change our directions will change our mind, will change our hearts, because only God can change it. Amen? 
So the darkness represents hopelessness, represents defeat, represents bondage of sin, represents hatred, represents sickness, death, depression, addiction, anxiety, daghan pa mga representation sa, sa darkness. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Now the words of the flesh are manifested which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envying, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So, we have, we have seen nakakita na tama isoon og mga hopelessness like for the past few years. Nakita na to nga ang tibo kalibutan infected kining a virus and then the, our government step in. Ang ilahang mga pamaagi may isoon nga for the first year without the vaccine, ang tanan lockdown, ang tanan gi uh, minimize ang mga movement from airplane sa dagat, sa mga buses, muna ang mga isoon, unya, doon na pag age category na sa mga bata, ngadto sa mga uh, hamtong na, sa mga, mga seniors, ang mga bata, stricto kay sila, di sila may magawas, pareha sa, sa mga seniors. Unya, basta na kay balota kung sa mga pamaagi. That is for the first year. And then, ang mga tao na baguhan kayo pag declare the worldwide pandemic, nakaingon ko nga, Lord, you allow us to experience this lifetime events. Unya may son ang among gihimo tibok family naka remember me katong mga Israelinhon nga uh, giingnan nga dunay mo labay nga uh, ang hill sa kamatayon o katong inyong mga pultahan inyo ang dihugan sa dugo na inyong gipatay nga blemish nga mga karniro iya tong ipas over dili ma daot ang inyong kamugulangan nga anak so and for me that is a perfect situation or representation sa na, mga netabo so gi gather namo ang among family we prayed, we read Psalm 91. Amen? So, kinsa tong naka-familiar sa Psalm 91. And then, naghimo me o communion. Diha sa among family. And then, from there, my son, we survive. We survive. And, uh, yun ana ang ato ang in the midst of hopelessness we can see the hope that is coming from our Lord Jesus Christ. We, we have seen also unbelief. Unbelief, supposedly it is a, a believing, a unbelieving, believing Christians. Nga doon ay mga nagtuota nga itong mga kauban sa pagtuo, pero nga ang ilahang pagtuo si Ginoo, it is only in this surface. It is only uh, kung na ay may tabo nga favor sa ato ang life. We have seen almost all kinds of works of the darkness, the killings, the drugs, the corruption. So, ingon anak may isoon ang representation sa darkness. Now, but everybody say but 
not not but 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 we are here today in spite from all of these still standing still praying still worshiping winning souls serving to our lord jesus christ the true and living and almighty god amen he is the reason why we are here we are here to pursuing breakthrough knowing that there is still hope healing restorations in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ ato ba nang gituohan mga izon ang pandemic naghatag yun nato og perfect picture this tribulation that is almost approaching. I think some of atong mga kiksunan sa not only in the Philippines but some other part of the world nakasinati na sila og persecution. Pandemic, you cannot fly without vaccination card. We cannot, you cannot eat the restaurant kung wala kay vaccination card. You cannot buy food sa mga grocery kung wala kay vaccination card. Muna na kay Ingong Kunga, mahay pa sila sa provinsya kay Mananom lang. Pero kita nga naa sa siyudad, mawagid na atong nasinati. And that is a perfect picture. And then second thing nga na na medyo nagaan-gaan na uh, karon voluntarily magmas dito ya yeah, dito sa among dapit declared na nga uh, you are free not to wear mask so na medyo normal na but then there's a war na nahitabo karon unya naka dungog mi na uh, in the land of Israel somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea there is a worship position and then when they have alliance na mag dili lang nako i-mention ang country but when they united na nang limbaot akong balibo pagsulti ni Kuya Ernie nga this is the last Ramadan but we are the people of prayer. I believe in that. So this is the picture right now. And this is the time to prepare. This is the time to not entertain small things like atong gisulti ni Ate Mirna. Nga madiscourage ta sa atong pagtoo. Kanang mga inana may soon nga mga material things lumalabay na sa diha nga mga matay ta wala gi nagsunod nga van or container nga nagkarga sa atong kaptangan kay musunod pud dadto sa inventory <laughs> wala wa ko kakita abot kakita siguro mo pero ako wa ko kita <laughs> walay walay mga uh, gipangkarga tong atong mga bed katong atong mga sofa wala na Ya anak nato. And then ang ato ang bahandi nga madala kana ra gyud ang ato ang uh, isig katao nato nga atong masiringan sa pulong sa Ginoo. Mura gina nga pagabot dito sa langit matud man ni ate that and that is true. God will ask. Pila na kakalag ang imong nasiringan. No? What was about my son? This is our time to double time. This is our time not to look on the things more on material things. This is the time that we will exercise our skills, the talents for the glory of God. Padayta. 
John 16 chapter uh, John chapter 16 verse 33 These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world So mga isuon ka nga picture nga akong gisulti sa diha nga moabot na Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 nga ang lawlessness karon kuno at work but na ay nagrestrain na pay nagrestrain nga dili pagit sila maka full blast sa ilang pagka lawlessness ang nagrestrain na ra magsuon kita kita nga naghimo sa kabuton sa Dios kita nga ni adapt sa mga buluhaton diha sa kahayag nga mo na ang Dios mo kita ang nagrestrain sa diha nga kuhaon nata sa kamayusan sa diha nga dili na kita magkita dinhi dito nata magkita mo na na ang time nga kining mga lawlessness ilan na ning ma kuyanap ilan na ning mo mo grabe na sila ug mao na ang ato ang paglaom mo ka na ato ang pag uh, kalipay nga ang Dios dai nato dili lang siya mo supply sa atong needs material things but God he is able to supply our needs to get us out from here amen to get us out from here no more tears no more sickness and we are going to spend all of our time with Jesus Christ in heaven dunay mga testimony mga isuon nga namatay unya naulian nabuhi og balik ang ilang testimony nga dito nakatilaw sila og glimpse sa heaven nga dito pagkanindutan man di ay walay traffic walay abog walay dili init <laughs> so may so kung maka dinhi natural nato nga kung naay mamatay sa atong loved ones mag-uol ta pero kung kung kita pa na naka-experience makaingon kita nga ay nako ninyo kawilihan ay na mo pagkaguol I'm happy I'm happy to be here so ingon ana may so ng atong paglaom we are called to overcome, to conquer, to fight a good fight of faith into our knees in praying. We are stepping out from barrenness to fruitfulness, rejection to accepted, sickness to health, hate to love, failure to, failure to success, sorrow to joy. Amen? <laughs> because God says that every believer should be an overcomer are we overcomer conqueror are we conqueror ambassador you are god's own people who ear with christ a royal priesthood you are a friend of god malipay na my son I delete nato i look down ang ato ang kaugalingon because God made us God gave us what we have and we are we should be content we should be content and have peace because if we because our life should be characterized with contentment and peace because if we don't we might not following our shepherd That's what we need to know. Who we are and whose we are. You might say, I am an engineer. No, that's what you do. I am a lawyer. I'm a doctor. No, that's what you do. Maybe you would say, I'm Delphine. No, that's, not, that's your name. <laughs> Who you are is, you are a child of the living God. 
Can we say, I am the child of the living God? Can you say it again? I am the child of the living God. Amen. John chapter 1 verse 12, But as many as receive Him, to them He gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in His name. Naghanta mga kailang mga ikson, may ingunta nga, Mutuo ba ka sa Diyos? Iya, yeah, mutuo ta sa Diyos. But ang qualification nga mahimutang children of God, dili lang ko ta mutuo sa Diyos, but atong dawaton, ang atong Diyos, atong ikinabuhi, ang gisultis ginoo. Love God with all your heart and with all your souls. And love your neighbor as yourselves. Amen? Whose you are is who you belong to or who owned you. That is whose we are. I was, I, 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 not I was, but I am blessed with this leadership. When, pa, when Kuya said, we have all the networks in Sambonga City. My son, when we, every time nga makadungog mi o uh, place Sambonga City, that is not an ordinary city. This is the city that in spite of different culture, the works of God still prevailing, still growing. And I can see with my own eyes here today that there is the power manifested, the power of God manifested in this place. And if we, when we continue the work of God, when we continue to bless Him, when we continue to pray, when we continue to give our life as a living sacrifice, the works of God will grow exponentially. Will grow not multiplication, but exponentially type of multiplication. Amen. So then, Romans chapter 8, verse 8 to 11. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. As I said, my son, we are, according to the Scripture, we are the temple of the living God. Mona nga bisan asata. Ato ang iposisyon, ang atong faith, nga we are not alone. God is closer than the air we breathe. Atong giginahawa ang hangin sa atong ilong, doon namang ginakayo, God is closer than that. <laughs> God is closer than that. So imagine our beloved President Duterte will come here. I'll just paint a picture how powerful God is. I just want to paint a picture unsa ka kapinanga sa ginoo, unsa ka kabililhon sa ginoo, gikan sa mga bata hangtod sa atong mga seniors, bililhon ta atubangan sa mata sa mata sa ginoo. Un, bisan unsa man ang ato ang uh, profession unsa may atong trabaho unsa may atong negosyo atubangan sa matas ginoo may son we are the same now i want to paint a picture unsa na ka tinuod remember we are the temple of the living god 
Now, as I said, when our president comes here, ang ilang protocol may son is to bring the presidential guard ahead of time. They will surround this place with all armory, with all snipers para i-defense ang ato ang president. Now, aside from that, there's another layer of security to be surround, surrounded our president. How much more, my son? How much more? Unsa ta ka pinangga as ginoo nga iyang padadaan og mga manulunda kung asa ta maingon, asa ta paingon para nga ang atong kinabuhi mas safety lang gyud. He said, ang atong pangapangalan na carb na sa iyahang kamot. No one can snatch you out from my hands. Mo na unsa ka unsa ta ka pinangga si Ginoo Mason and we are here today we are listening the word of God today i hope this will encourage us this will um, allow us to move forward uh, ang ato ang mga pastor mga leaders magsigig yung encourage nga we need to share his word next year Next year nga, magkita na po tayo yun ani, may isang. Amen? Kaya po po mo sa ato ang pag-ingon din nga, 20 times 22? <laughs> Have you noticed it? 20 times 22? Pila mo na ba? <laughs> so next year, it is 20 times 23, right? So, not decrease, but increase. Okay lang na kita mo ang ato ang uh, ang atong dungog mo decrease basta ang iyang dungog mo increase. Amen. Asa na ko dapat. <laughs> so you are not ordinary. We will not suppose to look down upon ourselves. Our Father is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God put the seed of greatness inside of you. Those who know Christ, walk in the light. Those who do not, walk in darkness. So, atong naisgutan ang scripture kaganiha nga in this world, we, we may have trouble, but be of good cheer because He overcome the world. Samata sa isda, mga isoon nga uh, we are swimming in the ocean. Ocean represents darkness. But, ang ato ang, I, I, I think that's not a good I illustration. <laughs> I'm sorry. Asa ta nagpuyo. Asa ta nahimutang. Tingali ang ato mga silingan. Dili pareha na itong pagtuo. Tingali ang ilahang mga uh, panginabuhi sa ilahang lifestyle, dili parihan nato. But God put us in that place to become His light, to exercise the goodness of God. That means nga ang, ang ilahang kinabuhi, ang ilahang lifestyle, dili maka-overcome sa ato ang lifestyle. We need to preserve the faith that God gave us. Every one of us have given the measure of faith. And we are, our responsibility is to preserve. How? To come every, to come once Sunday every week. I don't think that's enough. To preserve our faith is to always listen the Word of God. Come on Sunday, read your Bible every day, pray every day. Ang churches, mga programa, 
aron kita nga daunay panagkatigom. Unya dili nato na siya hikawan. The Bible said, do not forsake the assemblies of the saints. Ilabi na ang atong nakita, atong kapanahonan, mga isoon, nga hapit na ang kita makadawat sa atong reward. No? So, mga young people, I will encourage you nga kung uh, bisan naapatas pag eskwila karon, be excellent where you are. Paningkamot mo nga magtuon lang yapon. Sa among kapanahonan, may isoon, when I was a young, when I was youth, there are I'm sorry to remember them, but mayingon sila nga, ay na mong pag-eskwila kay hapit ng balik ginoo. And that is a very bad advice, I would say. So mga youth, padayon gin mo sa pag-eskwila. Kay ang Diyos, nagtanaw sa atong mga pagpaningkamot. Kung mubalik ang Diyos while nag-eskwila pa tao, maayo. Kung mubalik ang Diyos, unya na, maayo kay hapon. So basta nga, every... At a given point of time, we are ready. We there, there's there's no um, gitawag og regrets. There's no uh, kanang maingon tanga sayang kay mo ba dili na oi malipay ta nga mo balik na ang Dios. Amen. The believer goal is to walk in light, so that we have fellowship. With Him who cleanses us from all sin, according to the Scripture, God gave us power in the name of Jesus to break every forces of darkness that tries to stop us. Philippians chapter two, verse ten, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. Isaiah chapter fifty-four, verse seventeen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue shall rise against you in judgment. You shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Ang akong encouragement sa matag osa sa dili pa. Mahuman ang ato ang pagpaminaw sa Word of God, may iso. Ang akong encouragement is very, very simple and I think everyone can do it. Remember the cross. There's a different measure. There is a horizontal measure. And there is also a vertical measurements. The cross, the horizontal is mo ni ang atong nakita karon. Ang ato ang responsibility is to pray. It's one. Pray. It's one. And then vertical measurements. Look unto Jesus, the finisher and the author of our faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Manindog ta, my son? Manindog ta? Ako ang tawag atong mga pastor. Dirita mo linya sa tubangan. Kung pwede. Any pastor, if you consider yourself as a pastor, please come forward. So, social distancing, Yapon. <laughs> social distancing, Yapon. Just line up with social distancing. Sir Ernie Sabroso.
atong ulo may son with our eyes closed. If you are here today, na nagkinahala ng mga pag-ampo, whatever you need, If you are here today, nagbisita ka lang man, kunya wala pa na ito may experience, wala pa na ito madawat si Jesus Christ sa atong kinabuhi. Kung maingon ka karon, na gusto na ko dawaton ang at si Jesus sa ato akong life. Or niya ba ka karon may soon nga medyo na distansya ang atong pagpangalagad sa ginoo. This is the time to reconnect our lives to Jesus Christ. With eyes closed and head bowed. If you are what I was talking about, kindly, gently raise your hands if you want to have Jesus in your heart. Pastor lined up, you can come for prayer. We have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. So, before you come, let me pray for those who have hands raised. And you can repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I come before you today to accept you and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, from this day forward, I will serve you the rest of my life. You are my God. You are my Lord. Thank you for saving me. on if you have a need for prayer while we sing this song please come forward and let our pastors pray for you amen If you do, please do la lang kung kinsay ganahan ninyo nga pastor nga mo pray for you.
cross to Calvary And the price for all my guilty Who would care that much about me Let me tell you about my Jesus Nice word this morning, and I give this time now to Kaka. Come in. <laughs> 